Hello everyone, welcome to Cotech GB. Today we are making a video to address the issue that, that normally comes up during the installation of Windows 11. This, this issue is caused as a result of vi the virtual bus you have in installed in your PC. So as a result of this issue, you won't be you will be unable to continue your installation of Windows 11. So today I want to be giving you a walk around about this and how you can continue the installation of your Windows 11. So here is the error message that do pop up. What needs needs your attention during set up the setup and it states that the following things need your attention to continue the installation and keep your win your window settings, personal files and app. So below below it you see where the error the error is coming from, which is the virtual bus. It states that your PC requires the latest version of this app. Click learn more more information on how to update this app anyway i've done that already and i still keep getting this message so i'm going to walk you walk you guys through on how you can resolve this without having to delete it or uninstall the virtual bus in order for you to install windows 11 so what you just have to do is you have to go to my piece this PC then the the disk the storage disk which your operating system is being installed then you have to locate the program files and open it up now now locate the oracle oracle folder here is where the virtual bus is being installed inside here you will find the files the virtual bus files so open the oracle folder up and here you see just one folder which indicates indicate virtual bus so all you have to do here is is copy all you have to do is is click on it and bring out option select it and then click on options then you have to cut this cut it again the most simplest way again to get to this folder here without having to go through your disk and program files and the rest is just by going to the virtual bus icon or your desktop bring out options click on the options i mean then select the open file location so open file location then this is the folder which is this that is containing all the files all the virtual bus files so just click on the oracle folder before the virtual bus here where my arrow is and you also get the same folder as this so either way you can get to this very destination this very folder destination so all you have to do is no it's still it's the same folder i know so just let me close that just bring out options once you are here bring out options then click on the cut then go to any folder outside the program files in my case i will be i would love to paste it here in the download file in the download folder so you can as well just paste it on your desktop wherever you prefer so i'll be pasting it here
which is control V so control V to paste then you need administrative pro, uh, permission in order to move the folder out from the program file so you have to click on continue for approval so click on continue and it just take a seconds just take seconds and the and the virtual bus folder will be in your download so when you go back to the oracle folder to the oracle folder you won't find anything here because we have just move it to the download folder now go back to your window 11 installation setup and click on refresh just click on refresh maybe once or twice and hold on now you see I'm able to proceed so it's checking so I'm able to proceed now so all I want to do at this moment is before clicking on installation is moving the virtual bus folder back to this back to the Oracle folder so yeah here it is yeah here it is so I have to cut it and paste it back in the Oracle folder which is here paste and I still need to you need an admin administrator's permission just click on continue and you are done now you can then start window 11 installation So I have to close back the installation in order for me to stop this video. <laughs> I have to stop the video. So anyway, thanks a lot for, watch, for watching and please don't so forget to subscribe to my channel and also click on the notification bell icon and please, please, please also do like this video if it was helpful for you and leave a comment below.